What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the full 90. Now recently on the channel I did have my entire Champions League group stage predictions for the 2019 to 2020 season. Today in this video we're going specifically over each game and my score predictions for match week one. Be sure to smash the like button if you are excited, subscribe, turn on the bell so you don't miss a single video and let me know down in the comments your predictions for either these games, the group stage or who you think is going to win the entire thing. So let's get started. The first game is going to be Inter Milan versus Slavia Prague. Now, this is going to be one of the easier ones to predict. Obviously, as I mentioned in my group stage video, we had the, the Slavia Prague representatives just laughing when they got drawn into the group of death, along with Inter Milan, Rossa Dortmund, and Barcelona. And uh, <laughs> it's just funny. It is just funny. And obviously, in this video, there are 16 games to predict, so I'm not going to go too in-depth with each one. This is mainly about the score prediction I think it's going to be, so I'm not going to go too into detail, so this video isn't going to be an hour long, which is handy. So for the first game, Inter Milan versus Slavia Prague. I'm going to go for a straightforward 3-0 win. It's at home. Inter Milan should have no problems here beating Slavia Prague. Now, the next game is going to be Lyon versus Zenit St. Petersburg. Now, there are certain, there are certain teams, such as Lyon, such as Atalanta, that just have high-scoring games. They just do. They concede a lot, but they score a lot because attacking tends to be their strong point, but that does leave them open at the back. So I'm going to go for a Lyon home win, but I'm going to go for a high-scoring 3-2 win to the French outfit. The next game is Chelsea versus Valencia, and this was probably one of the more difficult ones to actually predict. I was really struggling, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to give Chelsea the home advantage in this one. I still think it's going to be a very tough group to qualify through for Chelsea. In my prediction video, I did predict them to finish runners up in the group but they have to play on form if they have off days in the Champions League group stage they won't make it through they'll probably get demoted to the Europa League or they could even finish fourth it, it is a very tough group to predict I'm gonna go with a 2-1 Chelsea win Valencia definitely aren't bad and they have had some respectable showings in the Champions League in recent years uh, but I'm gonna give Chelsea the edge at home this time you know it's Frank Lampard's first game as a Chelsea manager in the Champions League it's at Stamford Bridge Chelsea should have the advantage advantage and I think they do have players coming back from injury so I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Chelsea there. The next game is Red Bull Salzburg against Genk in a very tough group for Genk, it has to be said. And I think at home, Salzburg should have the beating of Genk. Genk also struggling a little bit in their domestic league. I think they're in sixth, which for a Champions League team from that league, you'd expect them to be a little bit higher. I know it's early days and I haven't really checked out the fixture list, so maybe they had just a bit of a, a harsh start. But I think Red Bull Salzburg are going to walk away with a comfortable enough 2-0 win in this fixture. The next one, one of the juiciest fixtures of um, of the week, of the game week, I should say. That is Napoli versus Liverpool. Now, previously in this fixture last year, in the group stages, Napoli walked away with the 1-0 win. And I was, a t I was tempted to go for a 1-1 draw. And Napoli, they did give Juventus a very, very good game in the Serie A. And unfortunately, Koulibaly's own goal at the end meant that Juventus managed to win 4-3. But a great showing from Napoli, who you definitely consider to be the best of the rest as far as Serie A goes. But Liverpool, I, they are very, very good in the Champions League. However, in last year's season, they weren't that great away from home in the group stage. In fact, they were awful. They got zero points away from home. They lost at Napoli, PSG, and Red Star Belgrade. And I think that's why it sounds a bit backwards, but I'm going to go for a Liverpool win here because I think they're going to pay extra attention to these away fixtures because it was very close to them not making it through the group stages and Napoli almost went through last year and Liverpool won't want to have that same scare again. Obviously, they don't have PSG in their group this time, so... Group qualification looks a lot easier this time round. Uh, but then again, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. But I'm going to go with Liverpool to win this one two goals to one. Um, because I think they'll, they'll pay even more attention to this away fixture. They're not struggling in the Premier League at all. So I think they're obviously going to go all in and try and win this away fixture. Because I think if they, can beat, if they can beat Napoli away from home on the first game week, that's pretty much qualification sorted. Because you'd expect them to win all their home games. So if they can get a result here, they'd almost see that. Obviously, they wouldn't as a team, but the fans would think, yeah, we're going through. So I'm going to go for 2-1 uh, Liverpool here. The next game is Ajax versus Lille. Uh, again, very tough group to predict, as I said, regarding Chelsea and Valencia. I'm going to go for an Ajax home win here. I think Lille... If they were at the strength that they had last year, if they had Nicolas Pepe in the team as well, they'd uh, they'd obviously be well up for this. They, they did really well in Ligue 1 last year. But I'm going to go for an Ajax win here. A lot of people saying that Ajax won't do as well this year. Obviously, I don't think they'll do as well. But it's not like they've lost all their players. Yes, they've lost they've lost De Litt and they've lost De Jong. But they've still got... I think they've still got Van der Beek. I don't think Real Madrid managed to get him in the end. They've got Ziyech. 
Tadic, Daily Blind still playing well, uh, and I think they will do uh, they'll, they'll do job over on Lille, and I think they're going to get a three one win. The next one is Benfica versus RB Leipzig. Now I think I did RB Leipzig a little bit dirty in my group stage prediction. I predicted them to finish third. But I, I did say in that video, I I think I was talking to my dad about it, actually. I said I really do like RB Leipzig. And to be honest, if there was one prediction I would change from my group stage predictions, it would be RB Leipzig to qualify. I just don't know who out of Leon and Benfica would suffer as a result of that. But I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw here between Benfica and Leipzig because... Leipzig tend to have high scoring games where they just crush teams, but Benfica are a very, very good team, and Benfica are at home, and Benfica are strong, so I'm going to go for the 1-1 draw here in this fixture, but that group is going to be very, very interesting. Now, the next game couldn't have come at a better time for Borussia Dortmund, who faced Barcelona, because it's, it's the first game week, and I said in my UCL group stage prediction video that Barcelona, obviously, they have a lot of injuries. I believe Messi, Suarez... Dembele, I think they're all still injured, and I said in the group stage video that I think they they probably only miss game week one, most likely, and it just so happens to be that it's Dortmund's best chance to take points away from Barcelona. It's Borussia Dortmund at home, so with Barcelona's injury issues and Dortmund being at home the first game week, the crowd is going to be rocking. It's going to be such an atmosphere. And I think this is Borussia Dortmund's best chance to beat Barcelona. Obviously, they've got the regulars. They've got Griezmann, of course. They've got the solid defense, you know. But I do think Borussia Dortmund can actually beat Barcelona here. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Borussia Dortmund uh, here in this fixture. The next one... A bit of a snooze fest, in my opinion. It's going to be Club Bruges versus Galatasaray. Club Bruges tend to have very low scoring games domestically and in Champions League, unless they get absolutely battered. I'm going to go for a low scoring win for the Belgians here. I'm going to go for a 1 0 win. I think the, the result could be different uh, at Galatasaray, but I think home advantage, Club Bruges, just to get a clinical 1 0 win that they need here. The next one was quite tough to call it is Olympiakos versus Tottenham. Now, when I started thinking about a score prediction for this game, I started thinking about Tottenham's struggles last year in the group stage, but I think I originally put 1-1 between Olympiacos and Tottenham, but then I thought Tottenham should win. They should win. I know it's away from home, but they really should be able to get a result. So I've changed it to a slight 2-1 win to Tottenham Hotspur. The next game is Bayer Leverkusen versus Lokomotiv Moscow in a game that should be no trouble for Bayer Leverkusen. It could be more goals than I've predicted here. I've predicted a 2-0 win to the German outfit, but it could easily be 3 or 4 I don't see Locomotive Moscow getting anything out of this, so we'll move swiftly on. Next up is one of the biggest games. I'm so excited, so excited to watch this one because although PSG, they're playing Real Madrid, uh, although they bottle it in the knockout stages, they are very, very exciting to watch in the Champions League as a neutral and to have Real Madrid in the same group as them is, is great for them. Real Madrid have been struggling a little bit. They 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 drew against, was it Valladolid? I'm not sure. Or it might have been Villarreal. It was one of the Vs uh, and they, they've drawn two and won one, I think, in La Liga. So they're kind of they're doing okay, but not as good as you'd expect Real Madrid to be doing. And I see PSG beating them at the Parc de France here in game week one. I think PSG, they're always electric in the group stage before the pressure's really on. Red, Real Madrid aren't as good in the group stage and then tend to perform better later on in the tournament. I'm going to go for a 3-1 win here to Paris Saint-Germain against Real Madrid. The next game, Bayern Munich against Red Star Belgrade. Uh, definitely the easiest game to predict. I would be willing to bet my house on Bayern Munich winning this one. It's, it's really a no-brainer. Watch Red Star Belgrade come out and, and get something here now. But I'm going to go for a 4-0 win to Bayern Munich because the Germans, they don't let up. Bayern Munich aren't going to put out a weaker team, try and get a 1-0 win, a 2-0 win. They would score 10 against Red Star Belgrade if they could. And I think they're going to try. So 4-0, I'm going to go with against Bayern Munich. Like, like in that friendly, Bayern Munich played a friendly and they won 23-0. Like that. They're not going to get... They, they got to 20 goals, put it this way. They got to 20 nil and didn't think we should probably ease off the gas here a little bit. They thought, let's score more. And that's such a German mentality. And um, yeah, they're not going to let up on anyone. So I'm going to go for a 4 nil win to Bayern Munich here. The next game is a very tough one to predict. Is Atletico Madrid versus Juventus. I was, I was tempted to give Atletico Madrid the win here. It is at home. And I'm still kind of tempted. But I'm going to stick with what I've written here. For now, which is a 1-1 draw, 
But I think I put Atletico Madrid to actually finish above Juventus in a bit of a shock prediction. And I think that's going to come from other games in the group stage. You know, Juventus lost to Man United. They lost to Young Boys in the group stage last year. And I think that's where Juventus will slip up this year. I think they'll give it their all against Atletico Madrid and put up a respectable showing. It will be how they perform against the other teams that I think will decide how the group finishes up. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw here between those two teams. The next game is Shakhtar Donetsk against Manchester City. Shakhtar, you could argue, are Man City's bogey team. I believe they went to the Etihad a couple of years ago and beat Manchester City. I'm not entirely sure. I, th I think that's what happened, uh, but I think Man City will be back. They're back firing. Kevin De Bruyne is on a mad one last night at the time recording. He played for Belgium. A hat-trick of assists and a goal, and it was a good finish as well. De Bruyne looks so good, and Manchester City, I think, will win this. They always seem to find a way to score, Shakhtar Donetsk against Man City. Uh, so I'm going to go for a 3-1 win here to Manchester City, who are, of course, the favourites to win the entire tournament. Now, the final game, Dynamo Zagreb versus Atalanta. Now, it's at home, so that gives Dynamo a slight edge, uh, I'm gonna, which is why I'm going to keep it a close game. But as I said, as I mentioned when I predicted Leon in St. Petersburg, uh, Zenit St. Petersburg, this is going to be a high-scoring one, I think. And I think Atalanta are going to enter the Champions League for the first time with a bang, and there's going to be goals galore. And I'm going to go for a 3-2 win to the Italians in Atalanta for this fixture. So that is going to do it for game week and match day one of the Champions League. Please do leave your comments down below. If you disagree with me, great. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to read them. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Turn on the bell so you don't miss a future upload. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.